Okay, uh, JJ, start us off. Hey, Barry, how you doing today? Hey, doing good, JJ. What's uh, what's this week been like coming off that you know unexpected cancellation of last week? How's that? How's this week gone for you guys? Well, it's felt like a normal bye week to me, uh, even though it was abnormal how it how it came about. Uh, it felt like that. You know, we got a head start uh, on Sunday night because we got a chance to plan over the weekend. Um, you know, for UTEP and. Um, so we got a head start on Sunday night with practice. Monday was a normal academic day, their day off. Tuesday and Wednesday were really good practices. Today was one of our better practices. So I've been real pleased with the way we've gone about our business this week. What goes into having a good practice? Jeff mentioned you guys practiced pretty good yesterday as well. Well, I think it's energy. Uh, it's probably more than, it's more than energy. It takes energy. It takes a little, you know, passion and excitement this time of year because it's a grind I mean it's 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 a grind and it's we've been going at it for several weeks in a row and you you know the routine uh, become can become monotonous if you allow it and uh, so it, it takes energy and focus and then really execution you know that's that's what makes a good practice not the ball not being on the ground throwing and catching being clean on your assignments getting a good scout look a lot of it goes into it it takes a lot of prep just to get ready for a practice and our guys have done a good job from top to bottom uh, this week uh, our support staff and our GAs have done a great job with the scout teams done good, uh, done well for us this week. So that that's what's made it a good week for us. Hey, Greg. Barry, Jeff mentioned to us that this is the first time the players have really had a couple days off since, since the summer. Did you feel like that was a, a needed opportunity for them? I did. Uh, you know, we were thankful to that our administration uh, had – uh, been able to piece together through our conference a 12 game schedule where a lot of people weren't able to play you know uh, that many games or get that you know matched up like that so but we also knew that having 12 on the docket in a row was going to create a challenge and we knew this time of the year you know down the stretch run when the games get really critical um, you know that was going to pre present a challenge for us and so uh, th the way it worked out was probably about ideal for us to play several games in a row then take a breather Obviously, it was unexpected. It was unavoidable for us. Um, and so it, it was what it was, but nonetheless beneficial for us. Is that freshness more evident this week? I know you mentioned good practices, but just do you see kind of a different bounce in their step or anything like that? I think so. I mean, part of it probably is to do with its homecoming and its UTEP and it's a, you know, we're a home and all the contributing factors there that would, you know, lead to some excitement about a football game and, um, and so, uh, but, but on top of that, having a, you know, ha having a way, a change of perspective for a day and getting fresher, the players got a couple of days off. Um, you, you know, even the coaches were able to get away a little bit on Saturday to, to kind of get refreshed and refocused and have some family time. And, uh, and so I think everybody's benefited from it, Greg. Can that present a little bit of a challenge mentally, just having something that throws you out of your routine unexpectedly like that late in the week? How do you guys balance that? Yeah, I, I, I don't think so. I think everybody that has been associated with college football just kind of immediately, I know the coaching staff did just transition to, oh, this is an open date. And our, our players are used to having open dates at this level. Uh, and so I think you just kind of, you know, you just kind of roll with the punches uh, like you uh, we have everything else this year and just said, oh, okay, well, well, we'll treat it like an open date. And let's, let's take a couple of days here to relax and recoup and get focused on the stretch run. And I think so I think it was handled really well by everybody. Did you get to do some self-scouting in this period? I know Jeff said that's an area where maybe you've been a little bit light at times this year. Self-scouting? Yeah, yeah. Just a chance to look at your tendencies and pick Yeah, up absolutely. We do that every week. Uh, we do that every week and try to keep a, a, a tab on those things about any glaring thing that we may be uh, tipping off from a tendency standpoint, you know, uh, run heavy, pass heavy, formation, motion shift, whatnot. And so, yes, it did allow us to give a little bit of extra focus on that. Um, and uh, but we always pay attention to that in detail. I think more than anything, it was allowed us to kind of, you know, look uh, kind of look back and reflect a little bit about where we are, uh, what we've been, what we've been good at, um, you know, what we need to focus more on down the stretch, what we need to focus less on. So all those would be, the, you know, would go into the umbrella or under the umbrella of self scouting. So, yeah, we spent some time doing that for sure. Jeff said the roster will still be thin in a few areas this week just because of the guys that you're missing. Do you have to alter even just practices this week at all to sort of make up for some of the guys who aren't here? Do you change the format in any way? You know, we didn't really have to. Uh, you know, practicing on Sunday, uh, getting a little extra step on Sunday allowed us to maybe pull back a little bit more on Tuesday and Wednesday just a little bit. 
Um, and so that would really, that's really the only thing that we were, that we wanted to manipulate or change. Uh, but we were able to function, uh, as normal, uh, in practice and, uh, to, to a certain degree we were. And, um, uh, and so I didn't really notice much impact during the course of the week. What impact will the guys who are not here because of COVID protocols have in the game Saturday? Do you anticipate anything in that way? You know, I, I don't know. I, it's probably easier to say after the game. You know, I, I, know, I know we've had a, uh, a very clear message from day one about, that, you know, being uh, in a mindset to be the next man up and be ready to roll. And, um, you know, that we've had multiple, multiple guys have opportunities this year, and not just because of COVID-related deals, but injuries or just, you know, giving guys opportunity after a guy maybe didn't perform as well. And so whatever it may be, it's a constant message we preach. And so, you know, at this point in the year, everybody's dealing with their own issues, whether it be injury or portal or, you know, COVID or contact tracing or whatever it may be. So you just got to take the guys that are ready, uh, that are available and go get ready to play and, and, and play, try to play your best game. And we hadn't really had to manipulate much to get ready to do that. Is it possible to play call around a roster deficiency in a certain area, maybe to scheme something up that puts less pressure on a certain part of the offense or a certain position group? Yeah, I think you always have to, uh, you have to be mindful of that, of, you know, it's my job uh, to put our players in the best possible scenario to be successful their job to execute those plays and make those plays you know so it starts with me of knowing uh just as, as a baseline understanding greg of knowing what our guys strengths or weaknesses are and now through eight weeks of the season have a much clearer picture of that um and then once you uh, navigate the challenges of you know injuries or whatever you know uh covid um you know um protocol or whatever it may be You've got to really look during the course of the week to see, am I, you know, making sure you're giving your players the best chance to be successful. And if that's limiting, um, you know, and narrowing down maybe, you know, a run scheme or a route pattern or, you know, even a protection, then that's what we need to be doing. We're, we're trying to be very mindful of that. And Coach Trailer was telling us kind of the way things work this year. You might get guys back from injury or COVID protocol on a Thursday or Friday and have to play them Saturday, whereas in a typical season, you'd probably keep them out still. Has that right. been an adjustment for you, or is that a challenge when you go to game plan for a week? Yeah, that's it's probably a little bit of a challenge. That's unique, and Coach is right about that, and that's happened a handful of times, um, you know, where a guy gets clear later in the week. A lot of times that guy's been more available for the game than he has played in the game, you know. Um, and so we just try to keep our guys abreast of what's going on, and, and we haven't you know, we've got a very limited amount of new things that are going in each week. We try to, you know, we've tried to do our base offense during the preseason part of it. We've continued to just try to add wrinkles to it. But our of the foundation of who we are hasn't really shifted or manipulated to the point where, you know, a kid, a, a young man can miss, you know, practices during the week and jump right into the game and know generally what's going on. Uh, you know, uh, minus the specific looks that you're going to play that week. But there's only so many defenses that you see and structures. And so um, at the end of the day, it's just football. It's 11 guys, you know, and they all have an assignment and getting them pointed in the right direction and play with technique and leverage and see what happens. Hey, JJ. Coach, how has uh, Frank practiced this week? And, you know, how has he looked through these last two weeks? I think he's had a good a good two weeks of practice. I think uh, him, uh, like a lot of our players and coaches, benefited from that little hiatus last week. And uh, he, he came out uh, this week and threw the ball, I thought, uh, really well. Yesterday he had a really good day throwing the ball. And, uh, and our other quarterbacks did what, as well. And our, and our receivers and tight ends did a nice job catching the ball. So, it's a, you know, it, it's important to – um, you know, throw to win during the week of the practice because, you know, on Saturday, that's the name of the game. you you got to throw in tight windows and you got to be really accurate. you got to be running detailed routes, and we continue to harp and stress on that. And, and that has showed up in game some that we're going to need it to show up Saturday in a strong way. Is Josh Atkins back? You know, he's trending in the right direction for sure. You know, I mean, that's it's been a tedious recovery for him. He's worked really hard with our training staff, and he's – he's certainly trending in the right direction. Do, do you expect to have him at this point, at, at any point this season available to you? I think so. You? Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, we, we expect that to happen um, for sure. And uh, getting closer and closer and 
um, you know, all those surgeries and injuries are different in the way they recover and the timeline and all that good stuff. But he certainly worked really hard and he's certainly getting back where he's throwing the ball and uh, he's, he's looked good when he's had those opportunities. So I, was get, I think he's getting pretty close. Hey, Greg, you want to wrap us up? So, Barry, do you sense with the players any level of concern about, you know, what if other positive tests pop up or if anything has to happen on UTEP's end for whatever reason that the game gets postponed? Do you feel like the group is, like, you know, looking over their shoulder at all? Do you sense that at all? I don't think so. I really don't. I think they're – I think they see what's going on, you know, around the country and has during the course of the year. And uh, it finally got us last week, you know, after seeing from, uh, you know, looking – I guess looking out the window, so to speak, and seeing all this other stuff happen, you know, around the country. And we, our guys have just done a fantastic job of protecting themselves and we've had very little issues. And then, then it finally kind of reared its head and you're seeing that to be a common theme, I think with some of the teams across the country. And so I think they're starting to see that, uh, you know, this is just kind of the way it is right now. It's just the, the situation that, that, that is across college football and in our nation and, I, and our guys, all they can control is to be mindful of protecting themselves and trying to be very smart and wearing their mask and taking care of themselves and who they put themselves around. And they continue to do a great job of that. All right. Uh, thanks coach Lenny.